What's up everybody, you're watching In the Kitchen with Ruby Rose. Today, we will be cooking injera with Tibbs and Shido. This episode of In the Kitchen is brought to you by Raisin Cane's Chicken Fingers. I'm Eritrea. This is a dish that people in Ethiopia and Eritrea cook. So we're gonna start with just prepping the vegetables in the meat. Let's get started. All throughout my childhood, my mom and grandma would always cook this for me. I've loved spicy food. My senior year of high school, my mom, for Christmas, as my Christmas gift, she got me cooking lessons. I was so upset. Now I realize that that was a good gift. My eyes are burning. Oh my God, I need goggles. I like serrano peppers. I don't like when people don't like stuff, so I don't ever cook for my neck. Maybe that's why I'm single. Tomatoes, cutting out the core. I've eaten this dish a million times. I've been to Africa. I've seen them slaughter the cow and then we eat the cow for dinner. I plucked a few feathers off the chicken before we ate it. This is garlic. You just need a few cloves. I like to eat raw garlic. A raw clove of garlic a day keeps the doctor away. The first few times I ate it though, that shit will make you throw up. It burns your stomach, but it's killing the bacteria. Ladies. Health as well. Health, Health as well. well. I need a little water. And now we have beef ribeye steak. I'm going to give it a little rinse. Nice. Clearing the board. So this is called this meat. This is like a butter ghee. They like infuse spices in it. So you just put a good amount, get the pan lubricated and the wet. Oh my God, it already smells good as fuck. Now I'm cutting the meat. I personally like the fat. Cut it into like little small pieces. As I cut this flesh, I'm having scary thoughts. The pan's getting a little hot. Now is when we add some onions. In this other pot, we're going to be cooking shiro. Same thing, just add some test meat, let it simmer. We're gonna add some onions. I love onions. I'm gonna add a little bit more tasty to it. Can't go wrong with this. Oh God. I don't know the measurements. You just gotta eyeball it. And you know, once you're a pro, you just kinda know. This is bare bare. Dried onions, dried garlic. It gives it a nice color. So once the onions start getting a little brown, then we add the meat and the water. Purified water, that is. Once the water starts to boil, then we will add the shiro powder. So I'm going to add diced beef. You wanna spread it out, cooking evenly. We're adding some tomatoes, freshly cut. Bare bare, make this mouth as spicy as hell. A little bit, a little bit goes a long way. So we're starting to get some color. If you don't cover the meat, it'll dry the meat out. And we want it juicy and you know fresh, so gotta keep it covered. I'm gonna add some rosemary. I love rosemary, like on everything. It's getting hot in the kitchen, y'all. She's coming together, okay. So now. When you add the shiro powder, it's extremely imperative that you start stirring it quickly, pushing it into the pan so that there's no lumps because you don't want fucking lumpy nothing ever. It looks a little bit watery, but it will thicken up. Not gonna lie, I forgot to add the garlic. Better late than never. Now we're adding the tomatoes and the shiro. Let it steam up wetting up in there. Also, a little salt. A lot of salt. Okay, just sprinkle that in there. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna leave the meat on a simmer, get the flavors going. This is still just boiling and sprouting. In our country, we go like this to taste it. That tastes disgusting. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the chopped serrano peppers we put into the sesame. 
let that cook. The whole half cut ones, you put it in the shiro. The, the seeds of the pepper is what makes it spicy. And we like it spicy. So just adding that. Stir, stir, stir. The bread, it's called injera. It has barley and yeast. My grandma will be making it. Very delicious. So this is the tids, cooked to perfection. And you just put it like this. Not on my chef, child. So this is this. Get into, oh, oh, little, little tomatoes in there, but. <laughs> I found better. It was good though. It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. Sorry. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Lexi? Good. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching In the Kitchen with me, Ruby Rose. And this is how you cook in Jetta with Tibbs and Chitto. Mwah.